Now, uh, bowing to civic pressure, the Karnataka government was forced to scrap the controversial steel flyover project in 2017. Now, civic activists are enraged over the announcement of a pricey elevated corridor in the latest state budget that the term is unscientific and unnecessary. Vyond's Nishita Virendra brings us this report. Karnataka's latest state budget has left many Bengalurians fuming. Civic activists who had defeated plans of the infamous steel flyover are now worried about a 15,000 crore rupees elevated corridor project that finds a mention in the budget. Expected to zigzag across the city, the 95-kilometer-long roadway is expected to save travel time, improve road safety and reduce emissions. But experts and civic activists believe that the ambitious project will only ruin the city instead of making it better. How do you say that it's going to elevate congestion? Okay. We have seen from our own experience in this city itself with similar kind of project that this has not resulted in elevating congestion. More you provide supply for a given infrastructure, more people tend to shift their preference of more towards that. While the elevated corridor costs around rupees 166 crores per kilometer, the metro will cost around 200 crores per kilometer. Elevated corridor can accommodate around 2,000 passengers per hour per direction, while the metro can have 30 times more carrying capacity in comparison. Activists argue that the corridor is an elitist project that overlaps the metro line and is a waste of the taxpayers' money. It also disincentivizes public transport system and adds more vehicles to an already choking city. We would like to know first, what is this going to serve? Who is it going to serve? What are the alternatives that have been considered? Who are the experts that have been called in? See, if it is required for some big shots to go from Electronic City to Whitefield every day, that's certainly not what this is about. How are you going to decongest a CBD? What are you doing about getting parking, uh, getting paid parking in CBD? There's so many different elements that have to be done in conjunction and in parallel. But supporters of the project feel that it is the need of the hour in the city's IT corridor. R.K. Mishra, the man behind planning this project, says that the project is a necessity for the city as the metro will not be able to cater to the entire population at full capacity. So Bangalore was a small town for pensioners and we could never expand our roads because it was a fully built up city. So with 1500 kilometer of arterial subarterial roads and 80% of these 73 lakh vehicles on these roads, there is no space to move. Today average speed is 6 to 7 km per hour on these roads. So now what is the logic of having this elevated corridor essentially means to free up these roads. So these are on existing arterial and subarterial roads. So we are connecting north of Bangalore to south of Bangalore and east of Bangalore to west of Bangalore. For a city with the second highest vehicular density in the country, the only way forward is an effective mass transport system. That is the reason why civic activists in Bengaluru are extremely wary of the 15,000 crore elevated corridor project announced in the recent budget. But those in favour of the project feel that being a city with the least road density in the nation, there is no escaping the growth in road infrastructure. In Bengaluru, with video journalist Chandan, Nishita Virendra, we on.